So the next product is the Blackview MP60 mini PC. In the box you get your user manual, HDMI cable, you get a mounting bracket with some screws so you can mount it to the back of your monitor. Now we have a 12 volt power supply and the mini PC itself. Now this mini PC is powered by an Intel Celeron N5095 quad core clocked at a 2 gigahertz base and a 2.9 gigahertz turbo. You've got Intel Ultra HD graphics. You've got 16 gigs of onboard soldered RAM, so not upgradable. And you've got 512 gigabyte SSD, which is upgradable to two terabytes. There is further expansion for a two and a half inch SATA hard drive up to two terabytes. And this mini PC has dual band Wi-Fi AC, Bluetooth 4.2 gigabit LAN, supports dual 4K HDMI output, and comes pre-installed with Windows 11 Professional. Now the mini PC is made completely from plastic, finished in this midnight blue color. You've got the Blackview logo engraved in this uh, bronze or rose gold color. Intel stickers. Now nothing on the front of the mini PC. On the side we have a physical power button, two USB 3s and one USB 2 port. On the back we've got power socket, another USB 2, we've got two HDMI outputs supporting 4K60, we've got a gigabit LAN, headphone and microphone combo jack and a Kensington lock. If we keep going nothing on this side and that brings us back to the front and this is what the bottom of the PC looks like. Now I just want to quickly show you some upgrade options that you have with this mini PC. If I remove the bottom two screws, you will be able to add your own two and a half inch SATA hard drive up to two terabytes. Furthermore, there are other upgrade options. Now if you unlock the top and bottom switch, you'll be able to pull this mini PC apart like so. And then you have to remove the four sticky feet behind which you will find four screws. So let's get all four screws open quickly. Okay, and now we're gonna carefully lift off the top lid. Be careful because there is a cable attached to the board and that is for the LED lights, which I'll show you a little bit later. So you can now see your upgrade options. We simply have a 512 gigabyte SSD, which you can swap out for a two terabyte. But if you do do that, you have to install your operating system yourself. Over here, we have a fan right on top of the processor. Now the RAM appears to be fixed and soldered onto the board, so RAM is not upgradable. Three screws, so we can so we can have a quick look under the heatsink fan. That is the processor right there, and we do have some thermal paste on top, the fan, and you've got this exhaust on the side. Quite an interesting layout. Now this mini PC has been designed for basic use, web browsing, office applications, and very light gaming. Don't expect a powerful performance from this, so you're not gonna be able to edit 4K videos or play AAA games on this.